let me say a little bit more now about the development of the RCCA. The problems with criminal statutes that kind of just discussed have been known and discussed for decades. To develop comprehensive recommendations, the council created the CCRC as an independent agency in late 2016. The statute specifically directed to look at these values of good clarity, consistency, completeness, organization, proportionality. I keep repeating that because that has been our mission. That's what we've been focused on. And while there may be disagreement, reasonable disagreement on what laws best manifest these values, I don't think those values themselves are controversial at all. Uh, that said, I, I want to stress some of the things that were not part of the agency's focus in its work. The primary goals of the CCRC were not to achieve certain desirable outcomes, such as fewer crimes committed, reductions in financial costs, reduced incarceration levels, racial equity in the district's criminal justice system, or speedy courtroom administration. Of course, these are all critical goals for the criminal justice system as a whole that the criminal code must support. And I assure you that the, the CCRC and its stakeholders have kept a keen eye on the potential implications of the revised statutes for these larger goals and outcomes. In fact, there's good, though by no means definitive reason to believe that the RCCA may improve outcomes on all of these broader goals and measures. Uh, research, psychological research and social science uh, has shown that people are more likely to follow the law and cooperate with legal authorities when they perceive the law to be legitimate, including accurately reflecting beliefs about what is criminal and how serious a crime is. Such perceptions of legitimacy can affect behavior as much as or more than concerns about the risk of punishment, according to research. But while good laws may not may be necessary for progress on these larger criminal justice goals, they're not going to be sufficient. Success will often depend on factors that have little or nothing to do with the drafting of the criminal code. 